Hi everyone, Chef from Outdoors in the Low Countries. Now in this video we're going to unbox and test this high pressure water cleaner from Gude, the GHD 225. Now in hardware stores here in the Low Countries, this Gude high pressure washer is also sold under a local brand, Waterland HD 22M5 MD. Now the maximum pressure of this water cleaner is 225 bars or 3260 psi and the working pressure is 150 bars. The pump material is brass and the engine power is 3.2 kilowatts. And the water delivery is 540 liters per hour. Now this water cleaning is being sold by a local hardware store here in the neighborhood. So uh, let's have a look at it, what's inside the box and how well does it perform. So it comes with the manual, a pistol, the elongation of the pistol, quick connect for the water coupling, some uh, holder materials at the back side. You can see different types of nozzles and a reservoir for soap. Also some brackets to wind your mains cable around it and a nice way to store your water hose. So let's now mount the holder for the gun. The top side with a click connection. The bottom side uses a screw with a crosshead. The quick connect for the water supply. And you need a 22 mm wrench in order to screw the main tube onto the gun. Now inside the gun you see there's a safe to take out the particles in the water supply that will protect your nozzles from getting blocked. So that's a very good thing. So let's now connect the gun to the high pressure water hose. And the system is ready to go. So at the front side you will find the on-off knob as well as the knob that controls the amount of soap that's being taken up by the soap dispenser. Two brackets where you can windle your mains cable around and the hose reel with a trigger hose. And there's also a safety pole on the gun so in this case you cannot enable the switch. At the back side you see four different types of nozzles that you can connect to with your quick connect of the gun. So the color of the nozzle indicates what the angle is of the water beam that comes out. The red nozzle is the one with the zero degree beam angle, so it gives the highest pressure and it can be used to clean high areas or areas hard to reach. And this nozzle should only be used on areas that can withstand this high pressure, like metal or concrete, and this nozzle should not be used on wood. The yellow nozzle has a 15 degrees spray pattern for intense cleaning of larger areas. It still has a quite a high pressure and it should be used to clean brick, concrete and other hard surfaces with stubborn stains. The white nozzle has a 40 degrees spray pattern and it's less powerful and it can be used for a wide area of cleaning jobs. And the black nozzle has a 65 degrees spray pattern and can be used to apply special chemicals and cleaning solutions and detergents and it is the weakest pressure stream of the nozzles. So it's a handy feature and can be easily used to take a nozzle, connect it and it is mounted. And when you're finished, take it out, put it back in place so you don't lose it. And at the back side of the manual you can see there's a cleaning pin that can be used to clean out the nozzle in the case there's debris inside and make sure it's flowing again. So in the shop they also sold these turbo heads. I think this is for the rotary cleaning that you see in many high pressure water systems. So I also took this one. This one is not standard delivered, but I think it's good to have it anyway. So uh, let's test it. So the length of both the mains cable as well as the water supply hose to its gun is about 5 meters. So the water supply is now being connected. System is still off, so let's now first bleed the system so that all the remaining air is outside. Okay, so let's now turn on the system. So let's test a different type of nozzles. First the rotary cleaner, the red beam, the 
yellow. White. And the black one. Now the nice thing is that you can turn the angle on the gun while cleaning. Now here you see an old teak chair and we always use a high pressure water cleaner to clean it. So let's now try it with this device. So this is the turbo cleaner. I think it does a very good job. So let's now also try the other ones, see what the difference is. So this is the red one. It should not be used to wood. So uh, let's try it then. Yeah, so it has a very strong beam as you could see and of course it's not good for the wood because you open up the fibers. But uh, yeah, for metal and concrete it's a strong thing. The yellow one. That The white one. And also this one still has a very good cleaning performance. Let's compare it with yellow again. Let's see if we can take this pots with the yellow one. It did. Now let's also find out how well the pressure washer is cleaning the bricks. So it is a very powerful beam and you have to be careful not to remove the sand in between. So let's also use yellow. Now yellow gives a very nice result indeed. The white one. Still quite good cleaning, a little bit less powerful but still good. And a turbo nozzle. That went quite well. So the test has shown that the pressure cleaner shows very good cleaning results. I like the quick connect systems with the different nozzles, which you can easily change and it gives good performance. So I also would like to compare it with two other high pressure washers that I have, the Lever Wash and the Kerger. But that's something for another video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.